our battle is a spiritual battle, a warfare between good and evil. And I think some people are starting to catch on to that. So I want to know all week, but maybe the last two weeks, you've had illegal aliens protesting and marching in the streets and openly saying undocumented and unafraid. So they're saying to us, I'm an illegal and I'm in your face about it. Have you seen this or heard about it? Uh, what do you think about that, Mark? It's just a testament to where we've come with illegal immigration. Um, <clears throat> they're following, you know, the LGBT community with their uh, gay prides and their pussy hats and they're like in your face. Yeah. And if you do not agree, you're somehow a Nazi or something like that. If you don't embrace illegal immigration. It's like now they're in our face with wrongdoing and they dare us to say anything about it. How do you go to a country illegally and then you come out and say, I'm here and I'm unafraid. I'm an illegal and I am unafraid. And then the government don't go or the police or whomever, ICE, don't go and arrest these people. If I hear them say I'm here, I don't have to look for them. I know exactly where to go and get them. But our government, our police, won't go and pick them up and arrest them. And that's why they're not afraid, because they don't, I mean, they know that they're not going to be arrested. Isn't that like amazing? It's amazing to me that you can outwardly commit a crime in the USA today and brag about it and get away with it. It's so wrong with this country that we're allowing that to happen. And the outcome will not be good. It will not be good. Yes, sir. You know, it's, uh, it's like having a child and not disciplining the child. Uh, you're actually creating a monster that will destroy you. That's uh, for sure. You know, woe to those who call good evil and evil good. That's exactly what you have. And it's like what Mark was saying. We have allowed them to just do it with the radical homosexuals, the abortion people, the black people. And it's just been going on for 60 years or so unchecked and now you spoil them and they are out of control absolutely out of control in this country and we got to turn it around it got to stop otherwise it's going to get worse it's like in your own personal life if you don't stop sin it only gets worse it will only get worse have you noticed that it's just go if you're an alcoholic or whatever, drug addict, or sex addict, a liar, thief, if you don't stop doing it at some point, it just gets worse. And you think of creative ways to do it, thinking that you've got to get away with it. Another thing that's happening is uh, the uh, NFL are refusing to stand up now for the national anthem. Have you heard about this? Yeah. And it's starting to spread even more so to a point that, and we talked about this on a radio show, there is a peewee football team out of Illinois, and uh, they are like eight years old and younger, and they refuse to stand for the national anthem. They asked their coach, coach, could they not stand? And the coach said, yeah, whatever you want to do. You don't have to stand for it. They even turned their backs to the flags. The flag, and these are like black kids, eight and younger. Uh, and the parents approved it. The coaches who were black approved it, as well as the parents. What do you think about that, Marcus? If, if there's someone that agrees with that, I would love to hear from you. You won't be thrown out or anything. What do you think about that? Well, I agree with Trump. You know, the, the NFL, if they don't want to stand for the anthem, just, uh, just fire them. Yeah, yeah. That's the way I see it. You know, and the kids, it's like what Mark said. It's like, uh, I mean, it's just uh, unfortunate as that's what's happening. Um, and then what, um, you know, the coach or the staff is even allowing. You know, it's just, it's just, it's weird and it's unfortunate. It, I love I that word. It's said. weird. Yeah, it's it's weird. so strange that it's weird. You wouldn't think that adults will wake up in the morning and think to do something like that. How is that going to help them? 